here in Arlington, Virginia. Nice, beautiful hotel right outside of the... Uh, that, that water looks pretty cool. But it's cold outside. It's 56 degrees, folks. Anyway, so we got the head coach of uh, William and Mary with us, Coach uh, Tony Schaefer with us. Coach Tony, uh, we every year talk to you all the time. We enjoy talking to you every year. You know, uh, I still have the memory of you winning the... Uh, the CA Men's Basketball Championship, you know, the uh, coach of the year, and you had that basketball down in Richmond, and my uh, ex-girlfriend and I had to go in the middle of the street to get that basketball for you. <laughs> yeah, so that's always, I always remember that all the time when I see you. So uh, let's talk about your uh, fall and uh, getting ready for practice. What do you guys, uh, how's practice going? It's going okay. I mean, we're excited to be back in uh, in the gym for a new season. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a little bit uh, shaky for us here early with just a lot of injuries for our team, but mm-hmm. probably every coach in here is saying the same thing in that respect. But, uh, you know, we think we'll have a good basketball team if we can get healthy and stay healthy. I was looking at your schedule just a couple minutes ago walking with you. you got to play Louisville and Duke in the same month of November. So uh, what does uh, Coach Martino and Coach K uh, mean to you? you know, they're, they're very good coaches, you know, good D1 coaches. So what is it like playing against them? Well, I don't know. We never never coached against them, but it'll be exciting for our players. That's for sure. I mean, they're they're two of the best uh, to to have coached at, at this level. So uh, it'll be an exciting experience for our guys, and uh, certainly a great challenge. So uh, just talk about last year. Last year, you guys had a uh, you made a run in the CA basketball tournament. I think it was a uh, close loss. I think you guys had you were playing against. Uh, NC Wilmington, you kind of like everything went ice cold. You know, you guys, nothing was going in. It was like, it was like me playing basketball. Like nothing's going in. I give up for after a while. So, uh, after that game, what was your players like after that game, getting ready for this season? Well, we actually lost to Hofstra in the semifinals okay. at a one point game. So, right. uh, you know, played very well. Just got beat by a team that also played very well. So, you know, disappointed. I think our program has reached a level that we. We, we want to win championships, and we expect to be good. And, and uh, so disappointment for sure, but uh, ready to move on to the next season. Yeah. Um, looking at your roster, you got some, you got some big tall guys. You know, six nine, six eight. You know, six nine. I wish I was six nine. You know, what was it like having some big, big tall guys? That, you know, they work the center. Well, we have some size. Uh, we're, we're a pretty long basketball team, but uh, um, you know, I. I Size is not our strength, probably. It's our ability to shoot the ball from the perimeter and the versatility that we have as a team. But uh, mm-hmm. you, you've got to have some size to be successful in Division One basketball. And you have a kid from uh, overseas, an, an international player on your roster. How did that all come about? Well, we actually played. He took a postgraduate year in the United States, so we were able to see him play here. Uh, so we didn't travel abroad to find him. We were able to see him play in the okay. States. Here. Oh, that's good. Cool. Uh, with the uh, CAA championship game going to be now in uh, South Carolina, was it like is that good for you guys? A little bit closer to you guys, or a little more, you know, still the same distance? Well, it'll be it's going to be an interesting change. I mean, uh, the, let's say Baltimore was pretty good to William and Mary. I think the three years there, we played in two finals in, in the city final last right. year, so we had good success there. Uh, it'll be very different in Charleston, a warmer climate, and. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully that will attract some fans to, to come to that, but uh, I understand it's a neat place to play. Is it good that every year having a rotation, like every three years, you know, you have, it, you have it in three years in one area and then move to another area for another three years just to get people to, yeah. I think there's some, some good good qualities to that, but at the same time, I think uh, being in a place that's traditionally known as the CAA tournament is also a good thing. And, uh, we had that in Richmond for a long time. We were building that in Baltimore, and now change will have to build that process again. So it's, it, there's some pluses and minuses to that. Well, I hope you have a good practice. I know you guys start up November 12th against Bridgewater. You know, I think it's uh, one of the guys from JMU's on the model. So, uh, Kurt, you know, so I hope everything goes well. And Thanks. I hope to talk to you on the phone and the telecom. Okay, appreciate it. All right. So that's the head coach of the uh, uh, William and Mary uh, tribe. On the phone here, uh, on the phone uh, near <laughs> right here with uh, the uh, the CA Media Day. Uh, we're gonna hopefully get back, you know, get some. Uh, hopefully, we'll get to find out what's going on here. And hopefully, we'll be uh, getting some more players to stop by and coaches as well. So you are listening to the Colony Athletic Conference Media Day for basketball. Maybe the commissioner will stop by. Maybe the commissioner will stop by.
nice new pet deal, brand new commissioner here. So, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll bring that by here. You are listening to the media day here on Herbert Radio.